Zildjian here with a Let's Play video. This time I'm playing Dota 2. This is actually the very first time I've ever played a MOBA before. So I'm gonna go and check out this tutorial. I actually tried playing Dota back in the Warcraft 3 maps, but I always got banned for being a noob. <laughs> they like had some sort of ban list. As soon as I joined the game, they kicked me out. I remember playing something like Tides of Blood. It was kind of like Dota, but not as popular. Am I supposed to click something? Okay. Maybe. Okay, your hero and your team. Welcome to Dota. In this tutorial, you'll be controlling Luna, a swift hero who throws blades at her enemies from a swift distance and summons damaging beams from the sky. You'll be playing for the Radiant team against the enemy Dire team. Okay. The Fountain, a source of healing. Your hero begins each match at your team's Fountain. If you fall in battle, you will respawn here as well. Being near your team's Fountain will quickly restore your health and mana. Basic hero and camera controls. Okay, movement and attack commands are issued by right clicking where you would like your hero to go or on where you would like them to attack. Okay, that's like typical RTS controls, the camera view. Can be moved by touching your mouth cursor. Okay. And press space to center. Right click to move my hero. Your ancient, defend at all costs. This is the Radiant Team's ancient, your ancient. In Dota, in order to win your match, you must destroy the enemy's ancient before the enemy can be can destroy yours. At, a, at the start of every match, players are given a small amount of starting gold. Always remember this gold. Always spend this gold on items from the shop before heading into the field. The shop is available back at your team's fountain. Head there now. Okay. Okay, so no WASD. Where's the shop? Whoa, some blacksmith guy. Let's see. Healing items, passive items, and unique abilities. There's some suggested items for my hero. Okay. Let's see, tango. Eat a tree or ward. Eating a tree or ward? What is that? How do I buy it? Right click on tango. Okay. Oh. Right click on the healing solve. Right click on the clarity. Right click on the circlet. They want me to buy it? Okay, right click the slippers of agility. Okay, some of the starting items can be consumed to heal or restore mana. Tango, use this to control swallow a tree to heal. Healing solve, clarity. Okay, healing solve and clarity effects are canceled if you take damage. There are three lanes top, middle, bottom. Or was there a red arrow telling me to go to the middle? Or was this? Creep. Foot soldiers of war. Okay. Creeps spawn every 30 seconds. Creeps automatically watch for the enemy base attacking. Enemy, enemy units or buildings they encounter. A wave of creeps is about to spawn. Follow them into combat. These creeps look really awesome. Are these creeps are heroes? Try to position yourself so the creep receive any enemy attacks. When a wave of creeps die, back up and regroup with the next creep wave. Okay. There goes the horn of battle. Let me click on them. Range creep, melee creep. Ah, oh, that's kind of lame. There's no epic names like tree, tree warrior, dryad, dryad archer or something. Right clicking on enemies to attack, and they'll keep on attacking. Okay. Whenever you strike the killing blow, you get additional bounty of gold. This is called a last hit. Attack enemy units whose health is low to earn a last hit now. Okay, so I should be griefing. Kill stealing. Ooh. Did that work? Oh, it didn't work. I think. Ah. I'm attacking too slow or something? Ah, they're kill stealing me. Range creep. Oh, I got it. I'm like. Last hit bounties experience points are shared between all nearby heroes. Earn experience points and gain levels allows you to augment your hero's abilities. Okay. 
forward in the tower. Oh, I'm getting killed there. Oh, what was that? Arrows that are aggroing? Attacking? Remember in uh, Tides of Blood, you can build buildings to spawn more creeps. I wonder if that's in this game. Whenever a hero gains a level, they earn a point to spend toward learning or strengthening one of their abilities. Note that the ultimate ability, which is a hero's signature power, cannot be learned until level 6. Click on gold, level up, plus 1, and on Lucent Beam. Okay, Lucent, yeah, Lucent Beam. What? Oh. Ooh. To use ability, first activate by pressing this button and then left click on the target. Passive abilities. Okay, I do. I know that already. Towers have a lot of health and my uh, launching powerful blasts at enemies. Generally, they target the closest opposing unit, then continue attacking until that unit dies or leaves its range. If the tower begins attacking your hero, you should run like hell. Okay, destroy the tower. Okay, these. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm getting killed. New hero has entered the battle. Uh, how do I use the enemy? Ah, uh, how do I use the items? What just happened? Oh, I leveled up. Moon cleave. Oh, I better run. I'm so bad at this. Moon cleave, lunar blessing, increases allies. I'll do. Oh, I can't do lunar blessing. Oh, I should try to kill, steal this guy. Oh, there you go. Healing self. How do I use it? Left click? Okay, left click. Can't just right click it. We'll level up again. Ooh, Lunar Blessing. Oh. The graphics are really cool. I don't know if it's just a tutorial or these guys don't have names. Creep, green creep, melee creep. And that's that. These guys have low defense. Two defense or five defense. Oh, why is there a catapult? Siege creep? You couldn't call it a catapult? Siege creep? Okay, I have no more mana. Keep on right clicking. Level up! Oh, that does so little damage against the catapult. That catapult looks pretty cool. This one is just a thing on a wheel. Let's see. Oh, there's a hotkey Q. I didn't see that. I'm sure other people would have been in the tutorial by now. Uh, run. Okay, you can do press A and left click and attack everything in sight. Well, obviously you want to target target the specific unit to get more gold. Oh, what? I can access the shop from here? I don't get it. How come I can't buy anything? 
Way too far. Shift click. Oh boy. to die. Got another kill steal. Am I missing? Does that say I'm missing? I can't see. The health bar is blocking me. Okay, I gotta retreat again. The other creeps haven't been spawning. Just the middle lane, okay. Level up. Oh, we got an ultimate skill, but I don't have any mana. I'm gonna go back to the shop. Try to see if we can get anything new. The moon smiles upon me. Losing theme. After you watch me play, I'm sure you can realize why people banning me on the total map. Can I buy anything? I guess not in the tutorial. Oh, we have this slippery. Okay, why do I need another slipper? Let's see, healing self. Oh, I can't buy anymore. I seriously can't buy any more? I'm clicking. Left clicking, right clicking, nothing's happening. Why can I buy that? Not... Okay. That's just weird. Why can I use a potion? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta entertain you folks uh, so you can watch me fail at this tutorial. Seriously, how, how long does this tutorial supposed to take? Massive damage, and I'm taking massive damage. Okay, I think we got this. Oh, we got this. Radiant victory. Oh, what's it called? The Radiant Faction. Well done, you destroyed the tower and completed the mechanics tutorial. You're now ready for the guided bot matches. Guided bot matches take you through a full match of Dota step by step with the help of computer controlled allies and enemies. Good luck and have fun. Oh boy. That's gonna take like an hour, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up. I just wanna try out this Dota 2 game. Seems pretty neat. I imagine a full game will take like at least an hour. I'm not too sure if I'm really into that. Especially if you're playing online with people and they're all good. And like, is, do the matches take hours? <sighs> well, if I continue playing, I'll probably just play the tutorials and play against bots. I think that would be the best. I'm not sure if I can handle a human versus human match. So if you like this video, drop a comment, rate, and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. So thank you for watching. Until next time.